Well, the first one is related to the Intel Reader. And the Intel Reader is a small handheld device, and what's really nice about it, it has a little camera, and you point it at some text that might be down on a table, and it takes a picture of the text, it performs an optical character recognition, and then it starts reading it out loud. Now, if you're a blind person or someone with dyslexia, this is an amazing capability because uh, how else would they read the newspaper or read a menu in a restaurant? And now they can take this little portable device and they can go sit down and instead of asking their friends, for example, well, what's on the menu? Instead, they can put it on there. There's a little earpiece. They can very discreetly listen in their ear and hear the menu. And that, that's just transformative for people who are blind and especially for kids who are dyslexic. They get a handout sheet from their teacher. They don't have to go up and ask the teacher what each row is because they, their reading speed would be a big hamper. Now they can just take it home, listen to the page, and at hundreds of words per minute, they can hear what's on there. And, and that's really transformative. And so I'm very proud of, of that patent for sure. Uh, the second one uh, relates to an area where probably my weakest area of design is in analog design. And I really enjoy digital design. It's what I've done for the bulk of my career. Um, and at one time we had a clock multiplier circuit that we needed to do, and I really didn't even know how to do it in the analog domain. Uh, but I came up with a digital uh, multiplier, and uh, it's now used in a very large number of our chips, our processors and uh, chipsets. And uh, my co-inventor and I, we, uh, we did that, and it became very successful.